The first step is to ensure that the kit is powered on and that the blue light, just above the Bluetooth symbol, is glowing. Some SMRT test kits may not support this, but the SMRT46 does, and if it's glowing, we know it's ready to go. So let's check the software in the laptop. You have the Bluetooth device icon in the bottom right. Click on this and SMRT46 will start searching for devices. Click on Add a device. You will get a Bluetooth device icon with the serial number of the test kit next to it. This helps you to verify the device before finally clicking Next. It will ask for Sync Password. The password will be 0000. Click Next. It will configure the device. After adding the device, the COM port will be assigned. This can be verified by right-clicking on this icon. Click on Properties and click on Hardware tab. So you can see it's assigned to COM4. Now let us open up the RTMS software. So here I need to select COM4 and click on the icon. We get a new window. Now it will try to communicate to the test kit via COM4. So it has successfully communicated, which is indicated in yellow here. Let's inject some voltage and verify to confirm the successful communication. So there you go, it's injecting, which is indicated by this LED. That's the Bluetooth wireless communication method which is used in SMRT test kit. And you can use this to test even if you're not physically connected to the equipment.